Jay Feather 23 MBH here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is an ultralight model, only 4,900 pounds. Uh, twin bunks in the back, Murphy bed setup, two entry doors, and a big deep slide out. A lot of really good things going on here. Very windy day. I'm sorry if that hits the camera. I'll try to shield it where I can. Power awning, power tongue jacks, easy camping, you know, easy living. That's the whole point here. Is this is supposed to just be easy and fun. There are LED lights under the awning. Um, not necessarily common at this uh, price point here. We have, uh, here's something you're not going to find usually at this price point. I don't know of anything else that has it. Not just aluminum wheels, but a rubber shock dampening equal flex suspension system. That is nice. Uh, that helps take a lot of the, uh, you know, shocks and jumps and jolts from the transit process out of the transit process so that you have a smoother ride. Not to mention just how it's easier on all your mechanical stuff. Um, and that includes your truck too, not just the trailer. Outside utility shower here so that you can hose the kids off or grandkids maybe as it were. And uh, you know, keep your camper from smelling like turtle slime when they crawl out of the lake. All your windows are going to open for ventilation. Uh, we have set this up with a rear bumper grill and that's a good time to mention that's one of those optional things that can go on to this. Not every J Feather that we have is going to have a rear bumper mount grill. Um, this video is not necessarily representative of the exact unit we have in stock, more uh, just showing you how one can be equipped, more here for informational purposes. Rear entry door gives the kids uh, direct access to their little bunk space, their own storage here, not to mention straight shot into the uh, bathroom. And even this, this door right here is strutted so that it can't swing open and slam the awning because that's a good way to destroy an awning very quickly and incur a sizable repair bill. Standard item here is that they do have an outside TV mount. Um, you will need to either bring the inside TV out or buy a second TV to hook onto this here, but this is very sturdy. It's very sturdy, but it's also very easily removed when you flip the little clip here. So you can be sure that once this thing's locked in place, the grandkids can't come by and bump it and drop a TV on the ground. Um, LED lights under the awning, and uh, they do a good job at night against the uh, bottom of this uh, white awning here. And I do like to take a minute whenever I can to point out the fact that this does have double the warranty because it does have double the construction of most other things. You know, the way that Jayco vacuum laminates as opposed to pinch roll lamination. All that stuff adds up. If you're not familiar with the differences between different types of lamination, then definitely give us a call. And I have had a few people take me up on that. I am serious. Um, the uh, biggest difference there is just the longevity of it. There's nothing wrong with pinch roll lamination. We have products here that are built that way. It's the, uh, the, the longevity of the process. Now, uh, one thing I do like here is that all your lights are LED and they're all just on one easy to use switch. Um, the front part of this RV is really the, uh, the, the main meat and potatoes of it. It has a big living room, and you're looking at this thinking, well, where's the bed? It's a Murphy bed. The bed's actually hidden behind the sofa, in a sense. So, during the day, you just have this nice, extra-large living space, but all wrapped up in a 23-foot box. Keep in mind, when I say 23-foot, I do mean the box, not the tongue and the bumper. This camper will measure tip to tail longer than that. Um, your dinette, as you see, has little easy storage totes here, and a freestanding table. So, not only is it easier to get to all your storage, that folds down more easily into a more stable bed, not to mention the fact that you can move it over here like a kitchen island. You can take it outside like it's a picnic table. You can do whatever you want with it. Once again, um, you know, fully vacuum laminated, everything except the roof. And this has the same roof structure as Jayco's big fifth wheels. Their Magnum Truss roof system is just stellar. It's outstanding. Zero problems with the way that this roof is put together. Massive window over here, too. And notice that little beam in the middle. It's because this is a slider window. It will open for ventilation. Uh, this is the, what is this called? The brick decor, I think. I could be wrong on that. But again, remember, if you don't like that fabric pattern, don't worry about it. The one we have in stock might be different. Just give us a call. And if it is the same as the one we have in stock, we'll get you a different one. I don't care. Um, so during the day, we have this cool front sofa. However... At night, all it takes is one hand, and you can convert this thing from a front living room into a front, uh, oop, I already unlatched these, into a front bedroom just this quickly. And you're done. So that is a Denver pillow top queen bed. You can still walk around. There are outlets beside the beds. Each side of the bed has its own little um, drawer there. Not to mention each side of the bed still has its own wardrobe space. Um, they make this front wall a darker accent wall to help give it that sense of depth. 
So uh, the other thing is too, even with the bed down, you can still get around the bed. So you don't like cut off that entry door by any stretch of the imagination. And then just as easily as it comes down, it goes back up. Again, I only have one hand here and that's really all I need because it has a double strut assist system. Um, you know, lift the sofa, pull the back, down she goes and we're done. We went from living room to, to bedroom to living room and back again, uh, just you know, that quickly and easily. That's all there is to it, guys. Um, spinning around here, give us a good look at that uh, dinette from the other direction. Entertainment center here. Um, I pulled the TV in the box out of this RV uh, when I came out here. We had already had the TV removed. We will often have our TVs and our Jayco shipped loose just so that they're stowed away and you're the first people to touch them when you do get there. Um, the uh, lighting inside is all LED. What I like is how you can kind of control it all individually this way. Very easy to manage. Um, good storage space too. And uh, your uh, outlets, you have an outlet right here against the, the kitchen counter so you can you know charge your phones or plug in a uh, coffee maker, whatever you need. Lots of good drawer space too. Drawer space is something you gotta watch in lightweight campers. A lot of lightweights really lack in that respect. Um, I like the, the level change here of the cabinets. That's something that they've done in your little J feathers for a while, the little uh, you know three-dimensional nature of it. It just adds that depth and that character that you really want. I mean, it just it helps it feel alive in here. Um, your stereo is everything. Bluetooth enabled, DVD system. It just, it just does everything for you so that you don't have to worry about bringing along extra electronics. Um, lightweight water heaters are sometimes, not, not as often anymore as they used to be. I, I'll, I'll certainly admit that. I don't ever try to um, give half-truths. Uh, it's more and more common now to have a gas electric water heater like this Jayco. There are still a couple budget cutthroat brands out there that are gas only. Just watch stuff like that. So back here uh, in your uh, bunkhouse and sort of shared bath space, we have the uh, we have lots of drawer space down here, not to mention just the space under the, the sink and the medicine cabinet here, but um, big closet uh, to the point that the, the bedspread and the spare tire cover I've shoved back in this closet and you see how much space you still have open and available here. Your, uh, even your, your bunk mattresses here, they are uh, just bigger, better quality, thicker. They're 50% thicker than what you typically find out there. They're Denver mattress brand, and they just hold up better. Not to mention with this little teddy bear skin that's pretty common right now in the RV business. This is, I, I say that like it's a small thing, but this is nice. It's soft, the kids like it, they like to play with it. Not to mention the fact that it is warm. So if it does get chilly at night, they're good. Upper bunk's gonna be for your big kid. They're gonna put one foot here, step up, grab a handle, and climb themselves up there. Both the upper and the lower bunk have their own little uh, night light, not to mention they have their own little charging stand for everyone's own little phone. Not to mention they both have a window that will open for ventilation. And they have lots of privacy because these bunks do wrap right around here. Uh, quick view of the bathroom and we'll get wrapped up. We do have uh, plenty of legroom here due to the fact that they did mount the uh, toilet at an angle. Uh, and we do have a shower with a wall surround paneling here so that the water off your body doesn't water damage things. And notice they didn't try to cheat and put the vent above the shower to pretend they have a skylight. They have both so that even without lights on in here, she's fine. You don't need to run extra electricity in this bathroom. Very nice if you're dry camping. Give us a call. Two floor plans in one. Daytime front living room, nighttime bedroom and bunkhouse. Very, very cool model. And you know what? To me, this is one of the perfect floor plans for grandpas and grandmas. Because most of the time, you don't want a big camper for the two of you. But if the grandkids come, great. We can throw them back here. And they're not going to disturb anybody. And they have their own storage space. And they have their own room for all their own stuff. And when they're not here, either close the curtain, use this like a closet, do whatever you want with it. It is truly two floor plans in one. And that's what I like about it. Is there's no one way to use this and no other way is wrong. It, they're all great. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.